Hello and welcome to the Commander's Quarters. I'm your host, Mitch. Glad to have you here. Here at the Commander's Quarters, we're all about Commander on a budget. Today, we've got an episode of Break the Bank. On episodes like this, we're going to take one of our Commander's Quarters decks and up the budget to $100. Sometimes you just love a deck so much that you're willing to put a little more into it to get those upgrades. And these same rules are going to apply for our overall deck cost. So shipping will be included in the price, Commanders at $10 or less are going to be included, and basic lands will not be included. Decks on this channel are built to be fun, inexpensive, and focused. If you want to learn more about what a focused commander deck is, check out this video here. On this deck tech, I'm going to take you through its strategy, the tactics, and how this deck wins. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. And while you're at it, subscribe and review our podcast as well. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support. Today's episode comes to you courtesy of Dylan. Dylan has been supporting this channel for over a year now as a golden pig tier patron. I truly couldn't do this without amazing patrons like Dylan. So today we're going to be breaking the bank on Dylan's Kaneo Sintero of Melitus deck. Now this deck was a theme deck that was focused on the art of the cards. Now I want to first apologize to Dylan for a slight misunderstanding on my part. The initial deck that I built was focused on cute animals specifically. But Dylan has clarified that the deck doesn't need to be creature focused, it's just that the art needs to be focused on cute art. And there are plenty of pieces of cute magic art out there outside of creatures. So because of this mishap on my part, many of the cards in that initial deck are going to be replaced in this episode. But because it's a unique deck, I want to make this a unique episode as well. So after searching through Scryfall for the cutest pieces of magic art out there, I also search for some great music to accompany it as well. So for this episode, I'm going to let the art and the music do the talking for me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these cute pieces of magic art. 